Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here in the commentary box with Aaron Kirkby and Connor Rogers and we're just about to call the Team McDonald vs Team Rogers game. Aaron, you've had a quick look over the list. Uh, anyone in particular you <laughs> excited to call? Yeah, number 21 for your side, Cam. <laughs> looks like he's getting a lot of the pill today, so uh, looking forward to seeing how he goes. <laughs> We've got three 21s in the team, which makes Aaron's job a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, Connor, how'd you pull up after this contest? Oh, mate, let me tell you, I had a pracky game the day after and uh, for my real footy club, and I ran around and got about four touches, which is four more than I usually get, but still, I... Uh, couldn't run at all. The other thing about this game is the wind, Connor, uh, was ridiculous. It was blowing an absolute Megan, a Megan Gale, and um, <laughs> oh. mate, you couldn't hit a 15 metre target to save yourself. So, so um, um, be, so be cautious when you're watching, understand, but uh, no. All right, we're going to call the game and we'll be back after this to wrap it all up. Yes, welcome out to Torquay North Reserve for the big game between Team Rogers and Team McDonald. Uh, we're excited for a massive game today. I've got the two captains alongside me today as well, Caden McDonald, and I'm going to call you Buck Rogers. Please do. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, hopefully I can uh, play footy as well as Bucky <laughs> Rogers open the batting for Australia. <laughs> We've got the anthems here. Uh, great to see you guys through, and the umpire that's actually wasted <laughs> his time and come down this afternoon. <laughs> Fantastic work from him. Uh, See the dedication and the intensity on their faces now. All right, boys. Uh, look, there's a couple of big lads there, but I think we've got them covered. I think uh, home ground. We, yeah, we got to make our home ground ours, even though it's our second home ground. And um, that's beautiful stuff. <laughs> Adam Uze. Oh, Jeez, if that doesn't get you pumped up, boys. Adam Uze. Alrighty, lads. We've lived up to our name on the Grog Squad. We've all gone out last night and gotten absolutely shit-faced, all right? Now, we have two options here. We can either lay down and go, oh, we had a big night, I can't really be f***ed. Or we can say, Ben Cousins won a Brownlow on Crystal Meth. Yeah, yeah, and we can, if, he, if he can win a Brownlow on Crystal Meth, better? that's right, we can win this game of footy <laughs> with a bit of grog in our system. So on three, grog, sp grog Squad. One, two, two three, three, Grog Squad! <laughs> gee, that was so much better than McDonald's speech. Oh, gee, it was terrible. All right, so we're going to head to the bounce. And the ball will go up. One down there uh, by Van Gemps. Kick out of the middle. Nice little chip, and it's Bowl on the lead. <laughs> he marks, and he's about 20 metres out. Now, the wind, Kados, which, which direction are we looking for this kick for goal That's from right, uh, Mitchie Bowl? So, it was a tough one. You'd probably want to go... What Do you reckon left post? Left goal post, let it work back. Left goal post, let it work back. He's a, he's a skilled player, Bowl, and hopefully he can put this one through for us. Well, he'd want to be skilled with wheels like that as he strolls in. Not too far out, slight angle, and he decides to pass. That is an absolute shank from Bowl. It spills. Plenty of players around the ball. Kick by Van Gemps forward. It's going to bounce. No, it won't. It'll be intercepted five metres out. An opportunity for Rogers to clear. They go wide. Op opportunity here for DDs. He'll pick it up and take it over the, uh, the clear line in the middle of the ground. Looks up. Not a lot of options. Uses the ball really well on the mark. He's taken there by Caldwell. A bit of a uh, praying mantis type character, <laughs> according to uh, his team, Rogers' uh, coach and great teammate. Bowl intercepts with a poor kick, and he'll take it up again for Where Team McDonald. Arguably the best 21 on the ground, according to him, as he goes in short. And there's another one. The wheels out here are quite remarkable from some of these Team McDonald players as they go inside 50 with a scrappy kick. Opportunity for DDs. He goes short, and the mark taken by... Is superstar skipper and Rogers. He goes short again to Dito. He's had plenty of it early. He comes back inside looking for a target. And here's the O great McDonald. He gets a little hand pass over the top. Looking for a, his other number 21. Thanks. That's Baker. Jeez, the delivery inside 50 has been poor early. <laughs> well, no wonder you just uh, spoke about the wind early. I can understand why right now. As McDonald marks. Not too far out for him, he says. Just inside the centre square. He chips over the top. And it's going to be Bowl. He strolls in under no pressure and absolutely shanks it again. He's a right footer, highly skilled, but a couple of mistakes early. The right contest, down opportunity for Bowl. He makes up with it, a little dribbler through. And doesn't he like it as well? So Team McDonald on the board with uh, 12 and a half minutes remaining in this first term. 
It was Van Gemp's ruck work there, Rog. He just caught you off guard and then bowl with a nice sneaky finish. It's a clear height advantage in the ruck. He's got about three feet on anyone else on the field. So uh, they've given the ruck rovers first use here. Opportunity for Rogers. He's got a paddock here. <laughs> got the nickname going on the back of the shirt too. I like that. He goes over the top into space. And he's Rice. He's got options on. So you do get once the ball's up, you do get time. Uh, just as we're, we're learning the rules as we go here <laughs> as well, Kados. <laughs> Rice goes inside. He's 50 and a really nice oh, mark there taken by Van Gempst. He's everywhere. That's a three-footed hand. <laughs> <thing. laughs> off, off to Baker. Goes with the left shoe around the corner. Nice hit as well. Now, this is Cookson with a really questionable haircut. <laughs> and he goes inside 50 looking for McDonald, who was just shoved <laughs> over by DDs. And the umpire says he's going to get a free kick. He absolutely manhandled me there. <laughs> Kados, McDonald, little chip, and here he is, the big fella. <laughs> the galloping lamppost himself. <laughs> and Van Gempst is going to line up from about 15 out on a slight angle. Highly That's skilled right. for a tall man, Van Gemp, so this shouldn't be an issue. Touch, play on, play on. <laughs> the kicking for goal has been absolutely horrible. It's marked on the line. <laughs> that win, it's doing <laughs> bloody tragedies, I tell you. And here's Wilson. Here's another shank out wide. DD's having plenty of it. Jeez, he made, he made McDonald look a little bit silly there as he danced around him. <laughs> He's going to pick it up and take it up for, for Team Rogers. That's a bit of toe, Dee Dee. He's deceiving pace. <laughs> nice little chip shot. Now, is that, uh, is that our praying mantis type character there no, in, in no, Caldwell? He's his brotherly looking figure in Brandon Rice. Brandon Rice. So, two likely types. Little chip inside 50. A real opportunity here. And is it the boss with it? Oh, well, yeah, that was Wilson to Rogers. <laughs> little known fact here, despite their um, differing appearance, Wilson being a tall Australian, Rogers being a short Filipino, they are actually first cousins. So a little bit of family connection there. And they've so, linked up. So Rogers probably with the hardest shot for goal we've seen so far. Wind blowing uh, right across goals here. Can, can he make the distance? That's the key. The other three haven't. And it's a... Oh, he works that through beautifully with a big J Brown finger as he kicks the Got first. It. And uh, Team Rogers are on the board. Yeah, he's usually a backman, old Rogers, but uh, found himself in the forward line there and uh, managed to work that beautifully from uh, left goalpost uh, across straight through the high diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle. That's probably, yeah, with that wind, that was the impossible pocket. Yeah, it was a dead pocket, but uh, as Brendan Favola once said, <laughs> if you're an artist, you're an artist. I'm not sure if he actually said that. But, uh, <laughs> uh, it's something he would say. A lot of people have also said if you're a Carlton fan, you're a flog as Bold brings it in. <laughs> Long kick straight down the middle. Uh, McDonald, <laughs> with all the time in the world. Nice chippy board too. Mark taken by Cookson. Just uh, been released released from jail down there <laughs> with that haircut as he goes towards the top of the goal square. And a really nice mark taken by Baker. He goes over the top. It's another shocking kick, but it could work out here. The galloping lamppost is there and oh! Ooh. He's my favourite player already. It's touched on the oh, line. Touched. Van Gibst. Jeez, I like him. He's the best player on the ground, Kados. So behind there, Caldwell goes Off in ground, short. Bounces in, in front of his target there. And he goes around the corner with another dribbling ball. Here's Rice trying to spin out of trouble. But the big galloping lamppost grabs him <laughs> and says, oh, that's for holding the footy and I'll have it. He's doing work all over the ground. Hand passes wide. Cookson again. Kicks it into the man on the mark. He chases up and does really well. He's got a bit of Martin Pike about him, Cookson. <laughs> Ball spills, though. Opportunity for Cordwell. Hand pass inside to Rogers. Rogers goes wide with a kick, looking for his target. Couldn't mark. Van Gemst in there, but doing the work oh, at the nice ground nice. level. And the goalkeeper, like from Van Gemst there, stopped the goal from Dede's to behind. Jeez, he's been everywhere, Van Gemst, early. What a kick from this bowl goes bang straight up the middle. Finds his target in Baker. Uh, fun fact about Baker, he lets everyone know about this for sure. He played, uh, he trained with the VFL over summer, the Geelong VFL, so he's a handy inclusion. Oh, it's not bad for him. He want to improve his kicking if he wants to get a game, though, Baker. Oh, I... A little bit <laughs> extra there from Dede <laughs> on McDonald, letting him know about it as well. He reckons that should have been holding the footy. He's been targeted, McDonald, today. Uh, Tap down by Baker. He gets the one, works the one two beautifully. Goes long towards goal and oh, misses to the left Jeez, hand side. Two easy out the midfield. They need to tighten up there if there's any chance today. McDonald one two. Rogers one one. Opportunity. Now going inside fifty for Team Rogers. Short kick. Wilson was good. This is what he likes. Wilson leading up and taking it out in front. Really possession type footy. Goes looking for Rice. Ball spills to ground level. Head over the footy. Opportunity Cookson in there. I like the way he's played his bowl. Goes short. This is Wastel. Oh, Wastel. 
First time I've called him today. He's come off the interchange. <laughs> oh, it was an interchange as well. <laughs> we'll learn this game as we go, folks. And Wassel goes in short. Finds Baker, who goes long to the top of the goal square. Van Goops says there, but Bile says, just watch, fella. I'll take this one myself. Got, went back with a fly beautifully there, did Bowl. Mm, yeah, that was a good mark. I thought Van Gems right, was going to come over the top of him there, but he uh, he went back and it was a good clunk. Looks a, looks a real lightly tight bowl, but distance could be an issue considering his last couple of kicks uh, from this range. I was going to say, a few shaky <laughs> efforts early, so we'll see if uh, he's on the improve here. Bowl comes in and... Uh, oh, he's missed it. He's missed to the right hand side. He just tried to massage that one through, Kados. Yeah, he did. He tried. To, he, I don't think he's got the wind right, Bowl, at this point in time. Might need to change his boots. <laughs> Life taking time. <laughs> Look good, goes to Caldwell. Takes a bounce. Seem to have plenty of time when you pass the uh, the halfway line. And he goes in short. Oh, oh, dropping the mark was Rice. Fighting in there was Martin Pike. <laughs> Cookson gets a little hand pass out. Here's Van Gimpst. It's about the leading disposal winner on the ground so far, and he <laughs> spots up beautiful to Baker. He goes in short to bowl. Good hands from Strong jukes. Really colourful wheels, Kados. Uh, yeah, the boys. Yeah, they rate their shoes, the boys. they got a big collection. <laughs> bowl goes in short, and uh, they're waxing a little bit here, and Baker, who does look the likely type, doesn't he? Good size. These two lads, Bowl and Baker, are starting to run Team Rogers packs? off your feet. You'll notice McDonald do have three. a bit of an extended interchange here. <laughs> Plus they've got the home ground advantage and really yeah, nice gosh, kick there from Baker and he slots it. They're off to 2-3, 15 to Rogers, 1-1-7. One, one, yeah, Baker, he had the pre-season with the Geelong VFL. He's played with South Bowen. That's the tops that we're wearing. Um, under Matty Scarlett, played with Tom Stewart a couple of years ago. So he's... Uh, He's a likely footballer, and that was a good finish for him. And Worth he... noting that Team Rogers actually uh, do not have an interchange today. <laughs> <laughs> the excuses have started already. <laughs> nice little bit of toe there from Caldwell. Oh, Steps pain. around a couple. Run. Uh, missed, missed everything. Missed everything <laughs> so the finish the uh, looked really, really good until the finish, which has been the case with a lot of the plays today. The yeah, I, I thought I had him there. As he was coming around the bend, I'm like, oh, here we go, McDonald's first tackle of his career absolutely burns me. Probably should have gone the drop punt. I reckon it probably would have just sat straight for him. Went the boon and uh, couldn't quite finish. <laughs> Here's Van Gemps to his my man. I'm claiming him. Really lightly type. And then he goes and muffs the kick like that, but gets the bowl. <laughs> bowl goes around the corner. Holds up in the breeze. Chance for Cookson. Geez, oh, it gets around too easily there, DDs. Like I don't want to have Cookson balls. running at me, I don't reckon. Nice work from DDs. Just waxing a little bit... Uh, there with his man Rice. Does he like Super Coach DDs, uh, Bucky? Does he? No, no, he's not. Oh. He's not a Super Coach. Well, it looks DDs, like. But I tell you what, he will be counting his stats today. <laughs> it looks like it with his little handballs. They work it back to you. This is real ugly stuff for the last five minutes. DDs works it out. He chips over the top, gets the ball into some space and a nice mark. Taken there by Caldwell, he chips over the top and oh, <laughs> the courage from McDonald. Nick Rewald, eat your heart out. He's in the game. <laughs> oh my days. You get the feeling that'll be one of those replays that showed over and over again. <laughs> For as long as you live. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those ones that I've just watched over and over again. Putting Nick Grewart and Jonathan Brown to shame there, McDonald. Jesus Christ. It was one of those ones where I thought, oh, I'm not going to get there, but this will look all right. I'm not going to get there. And then there was one stage I'm like, oh, I've got to go now. <laughs> um, sort of half tried to pull out, but uh, I was lucky it stuck. I think Cookson was my biggest worry. He um, he came with a lot of pace there. He's on the ground laughing because he can't believe McDonald's held onto it. Anyway, inside 50 go Team Rogers. Baker lays a tackle. Hand pass comes out. He's Bucky Rogers. Oh, bowl with a nice little spin. Left you for dead there, Bucky. Now they work it through. Hand pass comes back to Baker. Been everywhere, Baker. We mentioned that he actually trained with the Geelong VFL side. I don't know whether we mentioned that just yet, but Baker's got it. <laughs> He'll be happy that we've mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes looking for a target. It's a nice kick out the front of McDonald, who's got plenty of room on his opponent. A little bit of candy sold. Nice little dinky pass, too. From the C walk. From C McDonald. He, that's lovely work there. And he finds his man. Uh, this is our right, other mate. number 21, isn't it? <laughs> this is our third 21, well, Jake Wassel. Well, well, now, Wassel, well, if he's learned anything from uh, from earlier displays, he would have noticed Team Rogers. Rogers started this on the left goal post. So let's see if he can work it back. Ooh, Too much. Just kicked it a little bit hard, didn't he? Here's Rogers, little chip over the top. Doesn't quite get to his man. And Ten seconds McDonald left. just comes in, works it really well to bowl. With eight seconds, he's got to hurry up. 
Goes Run. looking ahead. He's just mucking around with it here, Bowl. Has to find a target. They need a mark. Team McDonald, and they'll get it. Oh, the umpire I felt like it was going to blow time, and he just allowed it to go on. So Bakey will have the final <laughs> shot of the first <laughs> half. Yeah, controversy there, Bucky. What did you think? It looked as though he was about to blow the whistle. about six seconds after the siren. <laughs> there, but uh, this would be a Baker's delight if he could snag this after the siren. Looks like he's got a long raking kick too, and he really launches into it. It's... Not going to make, gonna make the distance. So at half time, we've got Team MacDonald 2 4 16 to Team Rogers uh, 1 1 7. So, Rog, at half time, how were the boys feeling? How, what, what were the thoughts? Oh, there was uh, one very obvious thought uh, at half time, and that's um, we needed to harden up a touch, and we also needed to tighten up on, um, tighten up on Bowl. We decided that it's an, he's had enough of the footy. Um, he did muck a few kicks up, but if he started uh, getting those kicks right, it would have been goal city for him. So we tightened up on bowl. I'll read out some stats for you guys. Uh, so we've got Rogers at halftime. He's had seven touches of the pill. Uh, Rice has had six. Coldy, he's had six. Cooper has had seven. And our man Dee's has had ten. So he's your leading disposal getter. He's been on fire, Dee's. And then with Team McDonald, uh, Cookson's had six. Wastel's had four. Uh, Van Gemster's had seven, McDonald's had seven, and then we've got Baker with 12 and Bowl with 13. So those boys are getting plenty of it. There's Van Gems sipping a Carlton draft at half time. He can do whatever he likes, the galloping lamppost. He's uh, been the best player on the ground for mine, and he's going to be hard to beat. So start of the second half goes up, and it's an opportunity here for Team Rogers. <laughs> Oh, it's a shocking kick. It's going to work out, though. Bucky or just threw it ahead of himself there. <laughs> Questionable disposal. Gets away with it. Bowler hot on his hammer. Opportunity now. Wilson. Now coming out for Wilson. Oh, he slips <laughs> oh, over. That no. might be an ACL sort of thing there, Wilson. <laughs> He's not happy as he throws it up. He got his real oh, awe. What has happened there? That's why he had stadium turf underfoot. He might be suing Torquay North Oval. <laughs> That. <laughs> Pulled up gingerly as well with Wilson. Here comes Rogers through the middle with a bit of pace. Looks for the short pass wide. And the oh. mark is taken. Now, is this called well or rice? That's rice. They rice. do look very similar. They're very similar type moving characters as well. They do often run as brothers on night out sometimes. <laughs> the play. <laughs> and pass back. Long kick by DDs to the top of the square. No one home and uh, no score registered. Bowl kicks short. He comes Bowl. McDonald. If he gets DDs, he just goes in to tackle him really well. Caden McDonald, <laughs> question a high. This is young Wastel over here. He's put his head over it and he's injured oh, DDs. I thought it was buddy you, McDonald. DDs. Now, he has had um, his shoulder broken before any game of footy or something along the lines of that and he's starting to feel it now. <laughs> it was the duck of the head that's done it to him. I was going to say it was a bit more of a ferocious effort to the UK. Sorry, little Wastel. He's feeling very, very gingy here. I wonder if he can play on. He was the best in the first half for Team Rogers. And Caden McDonald, they're looking for his second Nick Rewalt moment of the day. Might have just bumped the shoulder there. <laughs> Here's McDonald. Okay, short drops the mark. And DD's takes off. Beautiful recovery from DD's. Very Straight quick recovery. <laughs> Got a few neurofins into him. Dangerfield type healing process. And uh, Team Rogers need to get a, another goal on the board here. What? They go wide. They look to the top of the square. This is Caldwell. He goes chipping in shorts. A poor kick and bowl marks and takes what? off. The wind doing its stuff again there. Potentially could have played at the other end, boys. You might have been kicking <laughs> yeah. the wind. Might have been banging him for about 60. <laughs> and uh, chance for Team McDonald. Bowl drops an easy what? mark, but it's got time to recover. Looks in board. Locks kicking across his body, Bowl. And it's uh, this time hasn't worked for him. Intercepted by Caldwell. Getting a few touches early in this second half, Caldwell. Decided to turn it on a bit here. What? Kick to his brother in Rice. <laughs> and hand passes over the top to DDs. He's on one arm here. DDs loves the uncontested possessions, I reckon. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't see him put his head over it too often, and he goes in short. We did see him put the head over it once he's done his shoulder, so you might be right there. Wrap him in cotton wool as the ball goes side 50. Here's Cookson. Just threw that out. The umpire's going to let him get away with it to very, Baker. Very questionable display there. Baker, nice little lateral movement. Might could teach Cade McDonald a thing or two there. Goes back to Cookson, who just launches it out of there. It looks a nice kick out the front of bowl as well. 
You won't be surprised to know that the umpire is a very, very close friend of McDonald's, so <laughs> keep that in mind while watching. He umpired beautifully, Sim, I thought. <laughs> Bowl. Goes in short, and Mark taken by Cookson. He's absolutely bugging here, Cookson. Aerobic capacity, not his strongest point. He... Stewie Duke. <laughs> He goes in very down, short. Man. Umpire's going to let it go. Is it Baker from distance? Kicks a mung punt. Now, Wastel tried to claim that on the line. Umpire having nothing of it. And an opportunity for Team Rogers, who defended well. Here's DDs again. <laughs> Jeez, that's about his 15th <laughs> running bounce. <laughs> in plenty of space. He keeps going. Try to take on Bowl. Bad idea. Oh, he's got, got a kick, long time to get rid of it. Umpire said no worries. Bowl's going to have time to pick it up, and he... Takes off. He'd use all his petrol tickets there, DDs. And oh, I reckon he's done his really? shoulder again there. <laughs> he's going to give himself a bit of time to lay down as Bowl goes in short. And the rub salt oh. for the loon is his opponent, McDonald, who kicks a goal. Oh, he's still horizontal on the floor there, dude. Oh, it's a big, big momentum swing there. Caden McDonald against the breeze kicks an absolute ripper. Yeah, on oh, DDs. He, he worked his absolute far. butt off to get it up there. Bowl burns him with a little shimmy. I um, that was your classic um, show the coach that, yeah, you are attempting a tackle even though you know full well you're absolutely zero chance whatsoever. <laughs> this Caldwell to bring it in. He's going to go long with the wind. This is a smart option. I don't know why they haven't been doing this. Really. These DDs, again, a miraculous recovery <laughs> in the middle of the ground. As he gets the ball out. He's resilient. Right, taken by Wilson. Oh, he's back down. Well, he's, so, he, he's back down again. He's just going to try and play when the ball comes near him. He'll make really good recoveries. Quick. Oh, Rice. Lovely step. Snap around the body. Goal, and I think he's kicked another one. Diddle, diddle. That's a goal. Great work there from Team Rogers. They have their second goal of the game. And Caden McDonald's marked. He's going to take his time because there's nobody up there. Yeah, well, I really, I, I could have tried to take a couple of people on, but I just thought, oh, there's no point me trying to run, outrun Wait anyone, on. so I just thought I'd chip it back. You know, a long way backwards to You're Baker. In this um, second half, Team Rogers, uh, they did say they were going to mark off on, bo on bowl, and uh, Rogers was actually the one he went to. Bit of a tag. Bit of a tag on bowl. He's the fresh man, Wastel. And your Six man, Van middle. Gemst, he's been off for a long time. <laughs> he's enjoying a couple more frothies and just one, I think. Here's McDonald, mucks up the bounce. <laughs> Nice little short chip, though. Bowl got the pud. Here's a tag. And this is great work here from Rogers, really putting the pressure on him. Oh, look at it. Keep it in front of himself, and Bowl just said you can have that one. Nice little chip from Rogers into the middle after winning a real hard footy. Oh, the wind's taken that one again. This really yeah, what's the go here? Really once it's over the middle line, there's no pressure, yeah. or, there's no just pressure. A, yeah. or there's just a lack of pressure? Nah, so once you clear it, you uh, you got immunity. So a couple of cheap dispels. No wonder DDs is hanging up there as well. Here's <laughs> <laughs> an opportunity for Rice. And as he comes through, takes on his man in the middle. Kicks the ball to the top of the goal square. No mark ball. taking ball at ground level. No team Rogers there to win it. He's cooks and just barrels ball. his way the through. Hands. Really well done by Wilson. Stole the march. Snap around the body and they have another one. Oh, Wilson, what a screamer. So that brings the margin right back close. Uh, I think, I believe it's three. So it's twenty-one to nineteen at the moment. McDonald. He's going to go and show his usage by foot's actually been pretty impressive today, McDonald. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the only things I've got uh, to claim is my foot That's skills. Line, so I don't run, I don't move, I don't tackle, but I can hit a 15 meter, meter kick. Bowles managed to shake the, hand, uh, shake the tag of Rogers here. Might not hurt him though, because I think the distance may just be beyond him. What's the total That's crowd right. attendance today, McDonald? It was two. Is that 15 meters out. Another questionable haircut. <laughs> Great work on the mark. I think he's missed a lot too, has he? I'll clear one behind. Oh, he, snuck one in. oh he snuck it in for a behind. Playing in broad daylight, but there's a full oh. moon today, baby. <laughs> Opportunity is Caldwell. Shows a good bit of pace oh, as well. Just wanted to get up there. He's buggered now, though. He can well, now turn around. Last. He's got options all ahead of him. Kicks a low floating sack of a ball. Looking for his brother in Rice, who can't the break the tackle. Down. Gets the hand pass Wilson away. Again? Wilson's going to have a shot at the goals. Oh, clear one to the right-hand side. Really needed to kick that, Rogers, because our uh, Wilson, because uh, Team Rogers were on the up, and that could have kept the momentum going. Five minutes to go, and this one is really starting to tighten up. Cookson, they've learnt now. 
why run it up when we can just launch it with the wind into the uh, take it up territory? He's Baker. He just sits that one up. Really hospital ball. The tag. So the tags work. Rogers has done well. Bowl goes back into that territory and then goes short across to Baker. That's really opened the forward line up. Baker with a low spearing pass. What a great kick. And it's Mark. C. McDonald on the lead. Just hanging out the back with no opponent, Caden. Uh, is that your specialty? Yeah, it's good to get I out the back, um, kids. That's the life lesson. Just hang out the back and back in the uh, the two pros to get it down to you. Now, what were you thinking here, lining off a goal, McDonald? We've seen your kicking has been at 100% so far. I thought, shove it very hard oh. to the left. Well, with four minutes to go, this should just about seal it. And it's a lovely goal. See, McDonald, is that goal sure, three for you this afternoon, Caden? Uh, it's my second for the half. So I was a bit quiet in the first half. I love a snag, so it was good to get on the end of a couple in the second half. That, that'd be right. He was on the end of them. <laughs> Certainly did none of the build-up work for Caden McDonald. Well, I threw the kick out. Usually you're good disposal, Ross. That's a floating sack, and it's gone straight <laughs> down the middle. The bounce works beautifully. Still an opportunity. Caldwell in there, really going hard was Wastel. Can't believe I confused him with McDonald earlier. I do apologise to him wholeheartedly. Bowl inside 50. McDonald comes up, just leaves it for the better player. Smart play from McDonald without actually touching the ball. And Mitch Bowl goes in and oh, it's kicked yeah. another one. It's going to be hard to come back now yeah, for Team Rogers. Just over win. three minutes remaining in this half. Yeah, so Bowley... So that play was actually really well done by uh, Jack Wastler. He got the tap, um, won the ball forward, and then Bowl kicked it to me. I didn't touch it. Bowl got it back, essentially kicked it to himself, burst through a couple, and that's a nice uh, little buffer we've got now. Tried to run with him, but I just didn't have the toe to go with Bowl. <laughs> has, a, has a bit of pace to him. And the mark is taken by Baker, who's been really impressive. Where is uh, the big fella? I haven't seen him reappear after half time. I think he's just come back on. I'll have to get the boundary riders down to check if there was an injury. <laughs> Over the top and Wastel has marked. Now, it looks a long way out, but he's just trying to milk a bit of the <laughs> clock here. If he thinks he's going to kick it from there, he's sillier than I thought he is. <laughs> on your line, Wast. He's played a real role today, Wast. He came in, he didn't do a lot wrong. He's um, He impressed me. Having a shot for goal from here is doing a fair bit wrong in my book. <laughs> Have a look at that. It's going to work out. Just an absolute shank. And once again, the man who just slips away from his opponent, Caden McDonald. <laughs> He's going to have a real shot for goal. I was pretty confident here. I looked at the camera and I said... <laughs> That's an insult to injury. I said, this is going in. Oh, bit of Nate Brown about it. Party time here at Team McDonald. Oh, it's an absolute shocker. He has missed the lot. He'll be made to pay for that in game two, let Good me assure you. Back on, mate. Bit of Nate Brown about him. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of arrogance creeping into Team McDonald here. Not sure about the sweatband either. Here's DDs. Well, yeah, uh, this is Van, the pressure. Yeah, Van but... Gems has got a real... <laughs> <laughs> I've disappointed him after that effort. He has hardly played a minute in this second half. <laughs> well, of, those drafts uh, <laughs> starting to take effect. <laughs> Opportunity really mark taken by touch. Wilson. He can launch them back inside 50. Doesn't have a lot of options. Decides to just go long and hang it up, but uh, the big fella's there, the galloping lamppost. Watch this kick. Games. Oh, <laughs> he's really just had enough. You get the feel of it. It's going to work out to Baker. It might have been clever, you know, do the dribbler along the floor, take the wind out of the uh, equation. Well, we're giving him a bit too much credit, but <laughs> we'll let him have it. Here's Baker, who goes long inside 50 bowls there. Van Gemps. Van Gemps says, I'll take it. Takes a bounce. He really maybe, wanted the boundary line there, but DD said <laughs> did no really chance. Well. <laughs> Works it with Bucky Rogers back to DD's. Loves the one too. Now the hand pass over the top. Trying to get into their territory. There's only 30 seconds remaining. You've just given up, Team seconds. Rogers. Really need them to, to try and get on the board. Get a bit of respectability back into the score line, oh. Buck. Will, a Rogers is really not happy with that <laughs> delivery from Wilson. He's worked hard to get off bowl and lead straight at him, and he's missed him uh, quite terribly. Wastel has Ten seconds. got the footy. There's only seven seconds remaining. So, Team McDonald, will they go for one last goal or will they just chip it around? They go to bowl with two seconds. Siren's gone and Team McDonald take the victory 5 4 34 to Team Rogers 3 2 20. So, we've got the two captains either side of me now to talk about the big game. Team McDonald running out victors. Kados. How do you feel, mate? It must be a, a great thing, a great feeling to come out on top of your mate over here. Yeah, well, it was really good because um, for a long while, there's a hot and heated debate about which friendship group uh, was better. We put it to the test. Um, there was a couple of things like going out and having a man down that um, weighed against 
the Sea Rog Grog squad. But uh, I was just really happy with the boys. Uh, we had a really good training camp over the weekend. We prepared really well. And, um, yeah, it was good. It was good to, to run it out and, and get the victory. And Bucky, yourself, mate, uh, in defeat. You, you got close there for a while, but then they just kicked away. Yeah, Team McDonald, I think um, they caught us off guard with their, with their run and carry. Uh, we weren't expecting that uh, so early in the game. And, um, yeah, look, it did, it did hurt playing away from home and also, um, you know, the two-hour drive up there and then... Um, Playing a couple of men down with no interchange, I think we will amend that in the second game. We will get a few more blokes on the on the squad. Um, we may not have as many drinks beforehand, and hopefully we can pick them at the post in game two. It must hurt too, having you know turn up, you do a two hour drive, you get a windy ground, and then you also get the umpire at the hometown advantage as well. We'll be sure to amend that as well. We do have a couple <laughs> mates down here that do umpire in um, in the Yarra League, so we're hoping to get them on board, and um, you know maybe a few of those free kicks that weren't paid today uh, will be paid. Uh, in game two. I'll read through a couple of stats. So for Team Rogers, Caldy had 11. I think that's a bit stiff. I think whoever was on champion dart has missed a couple because he was pretty lively. Um, and then we had Wilson with 15, Rice with 15. Rogers had 12, so not a bad game by you, Connor. And then DD's had 17. And then for Team McDonald, uh, we had Van Gemps. Went really quiet in the second half. Only played about three minutes. Really, game pa- really pathetic for me. I'm, <laughs> I'm not happy at all. He, uh, he ended up with nine. Wassler had 10. Uh, Cookson and myself ended up on 13. Baker had 20. And the bowl had 25. So I just want to say to anyone who's watching at the moment, I'm going to put a poll up on the YouTube page right now. It should come up on your screen. Vote for the best on ground. So vote right now. It should be in the top right corner of your YouTube screen. And uh, we'll come and see who got best on ground. Voted by the fans. The fans. <laughs> Great game, McDonald. Um, well, the next one. to game two. Is there an opportunity for the next, um, maybe, to get a few fans down to watch, get them behind the sticks? That's potential. That is potential. So the next game will be in Melbourne. If anyone is interested in coming down, comment down below, and we'll see if there's any interest. Because um, we'll be sure to give out the details to that if there is enough interest. Let us know as well. This is a game a bit like AFLX. It's on the up. It's still improving. Let us know how you think we could improve it. What could we implement to make game two that bit more exciting for you guys? All right, fantastic game today. It was Team McDonald running out winners over Team Rogers. Captain from Connor's team. Yeah, that'd be Connor. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Valiant effort. Lads, um, you know, we're obviously disappointed, but I think we'll bounce back, back in our home turf in Melbourne. Um, Dosso's dogs, you played well today. You deserve the W, but uh, we'll get you next time. Enjoy the victory and uh, well done. And the great, fa- famous Caden McDonald come to the stage. Please. Congratulations, boys. Uh, look, I just want to thank Sea Rog Grog's squad. Uh, lived up to the name, get on the piss the night before. Um, valid effort for uh, the most part there, but I think the lack of interchange probably got you in the end. Um, to our boys, we don't celebrate this, we regroup the game too, uh, in about six months' time. You know, we've set some high standards over the last few days, and I think um, you know we lived up to every bit of that. So we'll enjoy it for what it is now, but uh, you know, we've got to bounce back for game two. So. Thanks everyone for coming. Accept your reward, please, mate. Thanks, Sim. Yeah! Yeah! Right. yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll do. <laughs>